Today we're starting a series on peristaltic pumps uh, that are used uh, with most of the flow systems. Some of the older systems have the pump in the actual module, but most have converted to using the peristaltic pump, which uses a platen. And uh, these are much nicer to use when an operator clicks down on a pump. They just click down and that's it. And they have the lever bar that controls the tension of the pump tube. Uh, so the important thing on these pumps is that the roller heads are moving consistently, slow, uh, smoothly with no jerking. And this is related to the cogs inside the unit, which I'm going to show you here in a minute. So when using these pumps, you want to always see a nice smooth movement. You want to make sure the bars are nice and clean, the roller bars. You want to make sure that the platens click down easily. You want the lever bar to be generally about at a 45 degree angle. One of the advantages to this pump is that it allows you control, but over tightening will actually cause problems. So you want a consistent approximately 45 degree angle. Some pump tubes are smaller than others, might need a little more. Some are bigger, might need a little less. But in general, over tightening is a problem on these. So please look for the following series on the condition of the platens and uh, the roller heads and why service might be necessary on this pump and how you can keep this five to seven thousand dollar pump running for many many years by doing some simple maintenance issues thank you look for our next video bye now